We'll grab you. Ooh, that's an early bird, so that's not necessarily the right one for us. We'll grab you and we will grab you. Perfect. There we go. Now we need some nurses over here. So, nurses, do they need any kind of special skill? And a biohazard corridor. Uh, biohazard corridor. Oh, yes, on that side. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, how do biohazard corridor? We just need to assign it, right? So, let's, um, let's quickly do that. So, um, maybe they are biohazard. These diagnostics units are biohazard. Like you can see that. That's, that's, they are biohazard. Um, what we'll do is we'll just fix our corridor section over here. So, ooh. Something like that, maybe. Uh, and then we'll uh, make this biohazard area. Up to there. So that's all biohazard. If they go through these doors through there, they've got their bathrooms inside of there. So that's going to be just fine. Am I the only one having a very uh, having very bad graphics? Um, I'm not dropping frames or anything like that. Should be okay unless it's an uh, internet quality thing. Anybody else having issues with the uh, the quality of the stream? Um, Doc, can you tell me what kind of specialist skills we would need for for um, for uh, nurses and doctors in uh, in this area? Is it anest anesthesiology or anest anest anesthesiologists? So someone for the day, someone for the the evening over there. That's awesome. Maybe like, uh, yeah, you can do, you can do it, and um, you can do it, and and we'll get some more over here. Get at least like three of them. That's a, a daytime nurse, and maybe a nighttime nurse. Let's see what that's up there. That's okay. Something like that should be a clinical nurse and advanced diagnostics doctor. Okay, advanced diagnostics doctors then uh let's get another clinical uh, nurse specialist over here i think that one is going to be okay and an evening one clinical nurse specialist over here let's see what we can get from that that's okay we'll do that there we go now doctors is advanced diagnostics according to the doctor uh okay advanced diagnostics we will see what we can get mm, that's okay we'll grab you oops 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 wrong buttons Wrong buttons. Advanced diagnostics, please. Uh, we'll grab you. And we're open. Objective for insurance company has been resolved. I've completed. Open hospitalization of any specialized department. Reward increased clinic patients per day. to 15. Let's get another. Um, more of these advanced. Um, fill that out. That's an evening doctor. This is, this is going to be the daytime doctor. That is going to be our evening doctor over there. And we'll start off with just the two. I think that's going to be just fine. Um, if we go over here, I believe everybody here is assigned. Oh, you know what we also need? We need some technicians over here. Let's get some technicians going on. Um, this is cardiology, right? So uh, we'll get, we'll pay for this. Ooh, I don't like that. We'll grab uh, you and we will grab uh, you and we will have an evening doctor. grab you and I don't like some of those traits that they have but anyway so uh, we need another evening oh, come on you're gonna have to do the trick there okay so now we are very well staffed over here how is our staffing looking over here we've got multiple doctors over here and um, we've got that going on perfect okay Ooh, the one thing that I actually didn't do I didn't do that but we'll get to that later let's uh, let's actually play the game a little bit there we go. Let's uh, see. Can we open up anything else over here? No, we cannot. So let's uh, let's play the game and see what's going on. Now let's try and manage things a little bit over here. Uh, actually, uh, let's shall we shall we go ahead and go into a little bit of doctor's mode over here for these guys. So let's go doctor's mode um, for DID section. You are Fraser Allen. So uh, we're going to try and pick it up as it goes. The other doctor that we have here is going to be. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what's going on. Now, let's see. So waiting for the player. So there's all kinds of stuff that could be wrong with you. Um, I think what we'll do is we've got some red eye. Let's just start off with um, with something like a, a bit of a, a physical examination. Maybe uh, do a chest or auscultation or something like that. See where that goes. Open management mode DID. Take over all patients. 
from the department. I don't like using doctor mode. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's close doctor mode. Let's let's do what the doctor says to us. Go management to management, right? This is this management mode, and then take over all doctors, all patients. Open open departments uh, patient table. So are you saying like this? And now we take take over all of them. Or we run all of them at the same time. The fourth icon. Oh, here. Oh, automatic. Okay, perfect. Well, there we go. There we go. So let's uh, let's run and see what actually happens here. Um, did we do these things? Oh, we did them. So shall we? What shall we do now? Um, got red eye. So let's do a. a, a um, can we do like a. A basic visual test, let's do that. Not sure that's going to help us much. Temperature, let's check temperature because it is... Lab procedure uncovered what exactly? Okay, so now you've got tibula. Uh, let's see, how do we how do we deal with this? So we need to... Pro so that, that doesn't need to be hospitalized. Like it's a tick-borne lymph... I don't know, is a tick-borne... Um, geez relatively common in Central Europe and caused by so many words I cannot say I just don't know okay so now what we need to do is we need to provide um, some of this stuff so we'll do that um, okay now what else do we need to provide some stuff for either uh, well we'll just do all of this stuff but we're not gonna do we need to put them in the ward though Doc, does this guy need to be um, does this guy need to be hospitalized? I don't think so. I think that's all of the stuff, right? Steroid cream as well. Okay, should be fine. Now we've got this guy going on. Mumps. Uh, what shall we do? Antibiotics. There we go. Fever. So we'll just uh, kind of do all the other things apart from actually hospitalize the guy. I think that's that's going to be just fine. Okay, and that's the end of the day. There's been some... Okay, let's have a look. What are you find? Ooh, Queensland tick typhus. African tick bite fever, tibula. Uh, well, let's... Uh, let's uh, well, let's go with differential diagnosis then and see what's going to happen. We didn't figure out much, so let's go with serological sampling. This is, a, this is a lot. Uh, we still haven't figured out anything about this one. So I think, shall we do some of those? Well, let's just do all of this stuff now. And then we'll, this is just the basic stuff that they can do in the office, I think. Differential diagnosis. Wow, we're not picking up anything over there. Okay, what's going on with this guy? Ooh, Colorado. Let's do differential diagnosis on this one and see what comes up with that. Over here, we haven't actually figured out anything yet. So let's do differential diagnosis and see if that helps us out. Okay, it's a little bit better, but still not good. So let's do microbial sampling and see if that helps us out at all. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, so Colorado tick fever has been has been identified. So we'll do the um, NSA, uh, NSA IDs and some other stuff so we'll grab them all of these things i don't think any um, hospitalization required just yet for that Ooh, what is this chikungunya fever the virus infection is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito there's no vaccine antivirals okay so we'll give them antivirals um ooh, what is this this one needs to be hospitalized right Serological testing, antivirals. No, antivirals should sort it out. Is that okay? Hospitalized or not? Mary Williams for hospitalization, yes or no? Um, in the meantime, we'll look at some of these things, these, these, and these for all of the other pieces that they required. I'm kind of wondering. That's a bit of an issue. No hospitalization? Okay, then it's fine. Antivirals should sort that out as quickly as possible there. Uh, what's going on over here? Colorado tick fever yet again. So we'll assign that. Um, and we'll provide all of these things and we won't hospitalize right we haven't oh it's in oh it is hospitalized 
Okay, well, anyway, it should be, should be okay. Okay, let's see. So that's been done and it is sent home. Thank you, should be okay. Okay, Colorado tick point fever, all of that's gonna be fine. Um, patient's waiting for you to do another, do another, but we've done, we're done, right? You should be fine. Procedures are finished over here. Wow, lots of Colorado tick point fever, huh? Now, let's see, so for you, we also need to do all of these things. There we go, and we won't hospitalize. Okay, more of this tick bite fever stuff. Um, but we've provided you everything. Lab procedure has been covered. Yeah, that's fine. But we've we've already we're already assigning you everything. You just get your stuff sorted out over there. Um, you can go home, I believe. Now we wait for COVID nineteen. Yeah, absolutely. That is the plan. Excellent. Yeah, now we'll get some. Um, some ambulance patients. Okay, what is this guy saying? He's got Colorado tick bite fever and we've done everything we can, so that's okay. So now we just wait for you to get better and then we send you home, right? Send an untreated patient to another hospital, no. So we'll just wait for you to get better, right? That's the only thing we're gonna do. Now, over here, we'll assign you that thing. There's a hidden symptom over here though. But I'm assuming that if we give you um, your, your stuff here, that hidden symptom should hopefully go away. We'll keep an eye on it. Stop flashing almost immediately. Something over here, ready to go. Thank you, please go home. Excellent, it, it works much better to do it this way than to use doctor's mode, I must say. Well, thanks for the tip, doc. Ready to go home, excellent. I think you, anything that you had here that was flashing is not flashing anymore. Well, this is the evening, right? And we are going through this like crazy. Oh, it was Queensland tick typhus. Can you believe it? No idea what it is, but we'll uh, we'll deal with it. What are they saying about this? It's a uh, the uh, etiologic agent of Queensland tick typhus is a bacteria Australis. The disease occurs only in the eastern Australia, including t including Tasmania. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we have over here? Ooh, you've got a couple of options. Let's do differential diagnosis and see um, if that is going to help us out at all. You're uh, ready to go home. Okay, ooh, bubonic plague. Okay, now we're starting to st uh, talking about it. Bubonic plague is one of the three types of plague caused by bacterium Yersinia pestis. Bubonic plague is spread by infected fleas living on small animals. It is specific in its infection of lymph nodes and becomes extremely swollen. Hmm. <laughs> Ma'am, you have the plague. <laughs> That's brilliant. Gotta love it. Yeah, absolutely. Ma'am, what, what, what do we do with you? I think we should... Wh where are you at the moment? Are you hospitalized? You're in observation. Isolation hospitalization straight away. So let's start um, start um, treating you. Should be okay. Can we? Let's quickly have a look at where you are. Let's um, uh, if I go go to you're uh, over here, right? There we go. So in isolation, actually. Procedures have finished, so you should be okay. Ooh, we've got hidden symptoms over here. We've got hidden symptoms. Hopefully that stops flashing. Okay, more money. Excellent stuff is happening. Wow, lots of money coming in. Lab procedure uncovered some stuff. Ooh, we actually popped out one of these guys, um, but it's okay. We still have a flashing symptom over here, which uh, scaring me a little bit. So all of this stuff has been done, but we don't know what that flashing symptom is. Do more exams? Okay, well let's uh, let's do some more exams then. Not that differential diagnosis is going to help us out at all. 
Lab symptoms over here. Let's have a look. Okay. This is the one with the red eye, wasn't it? So she had some, some, some something. Microbial cultivation figured it out. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, this isn't dangerous. Too dangerous, is it? Also known as whooping cough. Ooh. It's a highly contagious respiratory disease. It is caused by the bacteria uh, Bortella, Bortella pertussis before the development of a vaccine. Pertussis was considered a childhood disease. Now it affects people whose immune defense is weakened. Ooh. Um, okay, so what are we going to do here? Uh, we're going to assign some of this stuff. We're going to give them some eye drops. And I think then it's okay, right? We don't need to. It's contagious for children only. So I don't think hospitalization is required over here. We'll keep the, uh, the stuff open. Uh, okay, let's move on and see what's going on over here. This guy is all sorted. We'll send him home. Thank you very much for playing. Okay, go to. So we, we still haven't figured it out, right? Uh, there is a microbial cultivation going on. So hopefully we can sort that out. So hopefully we will sort that out. I think you have one patient stuck. This red one. Let's have a look. Ooh. No, no, she just arrived, I think. You missed that patient. Let's just see. Let's just go through these patients quickly. Um, this one is still undergoing some stuff, I believe. Where are, where are you at at the moment? You haven't seen... Oh, you, you've got... Okay. Differential diagnosis is underway, but let's uh, pop that one in as well. This is fine. We've uh, with with treating over here. This one um, should be treating. We should be treating this one. This one actually came into TC. So let's uh, let's just provide. Ooh, no, 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 no! Don't do regular hospitalization. Let's just do all of that. Sort that one out. Let's see what's going on over here. Cholerae tick fever. We've actually assigned everything that we can. So we're just waiting. Where are you actually at the moment? You're hospitalized and sleeping, but it's not saying that you're hospitalized. So observation there? Yeah, observation. No, it is saying, anyway, it does not matter. This one, we're waiting on that microbial cultivation to come back. This one is just arriving, I believe, going to reception. And she's got Legionnaire's disease. Aha, we found it. Bacterium, uh, IV antibiotics. Excellent. That is good stuff. Very good to hear. Um, that's fine, we'll send you home. This is actually working quite well. I do like it. Now, let's see, IV antibiotics, so we're actually sorting that thing out. Excellent, so hopefully we will um, sort out those issues. <laughs> the, um, the staff are using these bathrooms. Uh, you can go home, thank you. Okay, Legionnaire's disease it is, right? And Legionnaire's disease is caused by bacterium Legionella uh, <laughs> the disease develops into a severe form of pneumonia transmitting through um, through person to person untreated legionnaires disease are usually fatal well we'll treat your legionnaires disease you've got a few other things that we need to do look at though but we can potentially start treating straight away I remember looking uh, watching um, house right anybody watch the series house man I love that series and, um, and I, I remember their course of action was always treat straight away whether you know what's going on or not. <laughs> so uh, so we'll, 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 we'll do a similar thing. So let's, um, let's do a few tests at least to see if we can't figure out some of the, some of the stuff that we need to deal with over here. Eye fever is, is one of the things that we need to deal with. So uh, can we, there's nothing really that we can test. Temperature management maybe, I, I, I really, Yes, and often the things got worse. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but we will start treating as well, I think. Let's uh, let's start treating. Diagnosed by treating? Yeah. And then if things go wrong, you know it wasn't that. <laughs> um, so let's at least start treating the Legionnaire's disease. Maybe that those symptoms will, will in fact also be, um, will start to be treated. Should, should we should we actually hospitalize this patient? Patient needs to be hospitalized before surgery? Is that a surgery? It's not surgery, right? But we can hospitalize. So we will, this, this is not, um, so let's just do regular hospitalization here and we'll see how we, how we go from there. There's still one of these flashing symptoms and even high fever 
is going to be problematic for us. So let's hospitalize this and see where we go from there. Scheduled procedures are finished last. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm assuming, are we seeing the end of flashing over here? We are. That is very good. That is very good to know. Okay, let's go to this one. This one has uh, got everything we've got going on here. Is that uh, infectious? So why is that in the isolation hospitalization? It doesn't feel right to me. Is a flu-like disease that is closely related to an anaplasmosis. It is also spread by ticks. But I don't quite know why. There's nothing flashing. Oh, that one's flashing. So let's just start treating. That should be okay. Treat all of that and, uh, and hopefully that should be just fine. There's actually an ambulance that's gone out. What? Oh, we figured out what that last symptom was over there. So we're still okay. We're still okay. Your observation doctor was very afraid, so just send him straight to isolation. Yeah, seems like the, the case. Okay, so our trauma center isn't seeing a lot of action, even though we've got room to expand that trauma center quite a lot. Uh, we were not seeing a lot of action. Let's see what's going on over here. More Queensland tick disease. Um, so we will just go ahead and treat all of that. This isn't uh, very infectious, right? This isn't super contagious or something. Let's uh, do all of that. Should be okay. Start treating. So uh, I saw the uh, the news, the, the, some kind of snapshot or um, or Twitter uh, or tweet or something I might say about a, a chopper. Or do we know when they're coming out? Are they adding choppers to it as an ambulance? Similarly, we've done all of the treatments over there, so we should be okay. Uh, what is this guy saying? Ooh, rat bite fever. Not that bad. We will, uh, it's an observation at the moment, we'll uh, provide you with all the necessary antibiotics and things. And hopefully, um, hopefully that helps us out. Go to this one, HPS, highly contagious, isolation ward. The chopper will be for the next DLC, perfect. Okay, good to know. It's sad that we are not able to send patients to isolation for prevention and let them out um, if they are not infectious, yeah. Traumatology and Rehabilitation DLC. Wow, okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, so now we've got HPS over here. That's quite contagious. So uh, she is already in um, isolation. Let's quickly have a look at where she is. I believe this is her over here. So she's already in isolation. You see our staff is wearing masks and things like that. So that's quite good. We are, um, and there's still a hidden thing over here. So let's do um, a few of these still, and then we'll start treating as best we can to try and just make sure that that uh, oh actually we figured it out I think antivirus is detected really but we've got the um, what are we doing to treat it we are complex antivirals is actually sorting that out so we can actually stop with all of that that should be just fine okay what's going on over here hang on someone someone gave me some okay let's uh, stop all of this rabies Okay, I'm assuming, is it you? Yeah, so you've been, hang on, let's do that. Yeah, okay, so you came in um, through here with some rabies and we've already, we're already kind of knowing what's going on. You don't need um, any kind of isolation, but we do in fact need to at least interview physical to kind of figure out what else is going on over here. We don't need differential diagnosis, but we can maybe do some sampling or stuff like that. You're okay. We can send you home. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm worried about this guy. What, what do you have? Rat bite fever. We've got you everything sorted. You're going home. There we go. Um, abdominal palpitation. I think we figured out everything that's going on with you. So you're okay. You can just uh, continue to um, head out that way. What's going on with you? Uh, they're actually moving you to regular hospitalization. And I'm assuming it's upstairs in the infectious diseases department. Yes, it is. Um, what we'll do is we will start give you, giving you some of these things as well. Sleeping drugs. There we go. We'll try and deal with that. Oh, you know what we don't have? Because we don't have an ICU. 
We don't have an ICU. So collapsed patients uh, is a bit of a problem for us. Someone else is coming in here. Let's see what we're going on. Another rabies case. Um, okay, so let's... Okay, let's do some, some testing. Try and figure out what the what the other problem symptoms are over here. Oh, the patient is collapsing. Okay, so now it's norovirus, not too infectious. Oh, you just arrived, so you haven't even had your interview yet. So we definitely need to give you. Oh, hang on. Let's do that. Oh, we can't do. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's try and give you. Oh, now we. Oh, rehydration. Let's just get you rehydrated straight away. Are you, where are you, oh, TC hospitalization, that's fine. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Change the department to ER. Uh, okay, it is, it is ER. So that's, that's her over there, right? So if we give you, if you, we rehydrate you, then we should be able to um, sort out most of your stuff. Just come and rehydrate you. Are we, what's going on? Why are you waiting for stabilization? Why is that? A, where's my doctor? Yeah, thank you. Or maybe I need more doctors. Ooh, what is this? That is quite interesting. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we still have something flashing over there. We'll do a blood draw and then we'll give you everything you need over here. Um, over here, ooh, multiple stuff. So let's do chest physical examination. See if that uh, that helps us out at all. Who's this? Uh, we've done it, right? Rehydration has been done. Okay, perfect. So there we go. Rehydration has been done. Flashing has been sorted out. Let's do a few pieces here so we can just see what's going on there. Nausea has been ex uh, uh, figured out there. Then we can actually start treating some of this stuff. Can't actually treat that without diagnosing. Temperature measurements is an infectious disease. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's going on over here? Um, we need to do more stuff. Temperature. Well, we'll do temperature and see how that goes. Who's this? Um, you're hospitalized, right? Okay, let's uh, make sure that you get all your treatments so we can kind of send you out of the way. You have got some other stuff happening to you and you are being treated and you must be hospitalized as well. Let's add some more stuff over here. You should be okay, I think. Nothing is flashing. Hospitalization over control patient was treated now and ready to go home. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, this is much better. Um, this is much better than, um, than than doctor mode. Much, much better. I absolutely agree with you. Um, you are being treated, so you should be okay. And then Doc is saying that we should, um, should treat that other patient. Okay, so we have still not figured out that last symptom. Mm, so let's just quickly start doing some stuff. So let's do a blood, blood draw on this and, and see if that helps us out at all. Okay, let's go downstairs here and see this patient needs to be treated for some stuff. So let's start treating some of these symptoms. We can't actually treat the actual one, but maybe we'll, we'll assign that and move them to... Oh, no, 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 cancel. I'm glad they've got that going on. Move them to the DID department um, where we can... Regular hospitalization? Why can't we regularly hospitalize? Patient is already hospitalized at a higher or similar. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll move them over. Patient is collapsing. Okay, so that's a rehydrate straight away. We'll start treating some of those things and then we'll do some examinations. Maybe not the, the eye test. We'll do like temperature the treatment there. I don't really see the difference to Dr. Mode. Dr. Mode, I don't know. Dr. Mo, I, I think they, they, they pop this stuff up. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is similar. 
Maybe it is similar. I just feel that you have, it seems like you have more control. The doctor, doctor mode asks you a little bit later. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, what do we have over here? We need to do, let's do temperature, let's do physical, let's do chest and see what we're getting. How many patients, hang on, let's just quickly have a look. How many patients do we have waiting down here? Ooh, look at that. So ER is pretty busy. Let's quickly see what we can do over here to just sort out how many do we have. Um, so daytime doctors is quite a few already. Let's uh, see if we can add a few more. Uh, we'll grab you. We will grab... Mm, we'll grab you. And we'll grab you and we'll just fill it up now. There we go. So we'll do, do a few more over there. On Dr. Bird, you can only control max six doctors. You might miss some patients. Okay. We're taking over all patients. You are really in charge. Hmm. I like it. Let's get a few more evening ones. Ooh. A few more evening doctors over here also. That's okay. We're going to, since we have many, we'll do one or two that is actually, that actually has a bit of a longer commute. Okay, that should help us out over there. Let's quickly pop in here. Ooh, very few doctors over here, actually. Um, there we go. And let's see what else we have over here. That's the slow I'm not a big fan of. Let's get another doctor over here. That, that was part of our problem, I think. Oh, we'll grab, we'll go with this guy and... What do you have down here? That's okay. We'll go with that. Um, nurses. Wow. Let's uh, let's fill this thing up. There. And this one. And uh, what else? What else? That one and. This one, let's do two more. Okay, it's doing well. Uh, fast learner, that's good. And over here, anything else? Anybody else? There we go. So let's do that. Now we filled that up a fair bit. Let's quickly go upstairs and see what's going on in the uh, in our infectious diseases department. Let's um, let's throw in another doctor or two over here. Um, advanced diagnostics. Uh, we'll grab you. It's okay. Advanced diagnostics again. Mm, maybe we'll grab you. And we'll grab you. So that should be quite helpful, I think. These departments have a fair bit of doctors. Maybe we'll add another. Um, advanced diagnostics over here. These are... These are, yeah, yeah, okay, doctors, so, hmm, grab you, and once diagnostics over here, we will go ahead and grab you, there we go. Okay, now we're uh, hopefully doing a little bit of a better job here, so let's see, what are we going, what's going on over here? So there's more stuff that needs to be tested, so let's do some, uh, let's start doing some of these uh, sampling things. Ooh, here we go, H5N1 bird flu. Now we're getting to the serious stuff. Now we're getting to the serious stuff. Where did you, ident we've identified this, where are you? Let's, um, this patient is right here, huh? Woo hoo, um, immediate isolation. Okay, immediate isolation, please. Plenty of symptoms. Hmm. <laughs> um, so I'll assign it straight away. And then what we'll do is we'll start 
testing for other symptoms but we could also do is we can start um, start actually treating run run straight away a patient is collapsing uh, rehydrate is what we're after there's still a lot of stuff that we need to figure out with this patient over here um, so rehydrate is absolutely critical TC hospitalization and then rehydration is, is what we're going to be after straight away procedures are finished um, you should be okay right we'll just uh, we'll just let you um, just wait wait it out procedures are finished trios in the reception hospitalized in bed and idle um, you've been where are you TC hospitalization okay let's um let's go to this patient okay here we go okay let's see we need to I think we're okay actually rehydration should be the key here we'll do a little bit of this and then we'll we'll start um, doing some exams here tips for you finish all non-lab exam then do differential diagnosis then do lab exam and last do the radiology exams okay good to know Q fever I've never heard of that Q fever is a disease caused by Coxella Bernetti and it is spread by various animals like cattle sheep goat cats and dogs the bacterium is an intracellular parasite capable of growth and reproduction inside host cells okay well let's um let's uh, get that treated <laughs> that sounds nasty let's get it treated and some recommendations nothing flashing so you should be okay uh hospitalized okay well regular hospitalization it is then uh norovirus should be figured out over here right let's um throw in in the stuff over there okay if we go over here to isolation let's quickly see what we've got going on over here this is bubonic plague um, nothing flashing we've got if all the symptoms should be okay what do we have over here we've got this guy which i really don't know why he's um, in isolation and then we've got hps over here and this is our h5 our bird flu person um, that's now coming in um, over here not enough stretches Nurses are complaining there's not enough stretches for all patients need transport at emergency. Okay, let's pause it for a second and let's just go and have a look at what's going on downstairs over here. I am assuming we had tons of stretches in over here, but we can certainly um, add more stretches. That's not um, at all a problem. Uh, stretches, what, I'm, what I'll do is as a starting point is we'll, um, we'll throw in some stretches um, just over there. In a few locations actually like so yeah that should work it's a uh, plenty of additional stretches in emergency that you can you can use okay what's going on over here hmm, anything flashing not really so physical abdominal mm, temperature measurement then what is this this can be done any office we'll do that and this is done in any office as well okay that's what we'll do let's get those done that procedure uncovered something rabies but you are being treated so you're okay and nothing's flashing so we're fine we are fine i do like my little hospital section over here someone's collapsing um so tc hospitalization rehydration and then we'll start doing all of these things to figure out what's wrong with you where's my temperature Ooh, not gonna do that let's uh, let's start off with those and see what's going on blood draws uncovered some symptoms mm, okay that's okay this isn't the worst thing uh, but we are already treating you so you should be just fine no need to uh, to get uh, to get crazy here the respiratory respiratory crypto no idea what that is either Parasitic disease caused by something, some kind of parasite named, okay, it affects the respiratory system and also the digestive tract. Okay, well, fair enough. You need some of these things 
So let's go with that. It's probably going to tell me that you need to be uh, actually. I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to need to be um, hospitalized for that. Procedures are finished. Blood test. Okay, belly fever has been identified over here. So we'll do that. We'll give you all the treatments that you need. We're actually doing a decent job now, I think. Valley fever. Isn't there temperature check stations? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, not that I'm aware of. If anybody else is aware of it, please let me know. Okay, who's, uh, what's happening over here? So this is rehydration. So let's um, try and do temperature and all these other things. Blood, uh, ooh, blood pressure management, CRP. There we go. Abdominal palpitation. Try and figure it out over there. No, there isn't. No, uh, no temperature check stations. There should be one at the door, actually. Okay, you've been, you've kind of been treated. So I'm just going to let you, let you, let you run by there. Okay, what's going on over here? You've been treated as well, so we'll just let it go now. We're going through these people very quickly. Okay, so we figured out what's wrong with this patient. And we don't have any flashing symptoms, so we can go ahead and maybe treat this stuff. IV corticoid steroids in a ward or any office. I think it might have to be in a ward. We'll try it and see what happens. Yeah, it's hospitalization. So regular hospitalization for you then. Uh, hospitalized before treatment. Okay, regular hospitalization it is then. Antidiarrheals in the last one that you've got and that should be just fine let's see what's going on over here let's quickly pop in emergency department is doing oh we've got a lot of people going on over here let's um let's quickly oh what's going on over here more bubonic plague straight into isolation please Ooh, and we can start treating this as well while we while we do some other bits and pieces also Okay, what I wanted to do is let's quickly see about actually expanding this area a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll... Um, we could actually put two of them up there. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. So let's do one there and uh, one there. So we've got two more going on there. As long as you're taking control all patients um, very well, you don't need ICU. It seems like I'm, I'm managing it okay. It does actually seem like I'm able to manage it okay. Let's see, what does this guy need? Um, ooh, sept uh, septicemic plague. Septicemic plague is one of the three types of plague caused by bacterium. Yes, okay, we've, we've discussed that already. Um, is spread by infected fleas living on small animals. It's the rarest of all three forms, typically infecting the blood. Ooh. Very infectious, I believe. Yes, highly contagious. So you are in isolation. You've got your basics going on over here. We can immediately start treating some of this stuff while we um, continue to do uh, look through some of your other symptoms. Well, see if we can find some more stuff there. Uh, you, on the other hand, uh, I believe we've picked, ooh, we've got some flashing stuff going on here. Let's do a blood draw. Oh, hang on. We should just actually give you what you need there in terms of your treatments. I think that's going to be just fine. Ooh, leptospirosis. Um, can we just basically start treating you without hospitalizing? I believe we can. So let's do that. Nothing's flashing, so you should be okay. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Uh, some more stuff is being figured out over here. There's some flashing going on. And we are treating. So you should be okay. I'm hoping I'm hoping you'll be okay. Should be okay. I'm gonna pause it just for a second, just gonna have a look at what's going on with our cues. Uh, no cues, almost no cues. 
over here. Okay, let's uh, quickly go into management mode and let's just see what's going on with our queues. Any queues going on here? Three people queuing, that's not the end of the world. Um, if we go to labs, three people queuing over here, we may, may be a good idea for us to add an extra person over here. So let's see about advanced biochemistry for during the day. Wow. Not great, I can tell you that much. Grab that one and then let's get an extra evening one just for good measure. Advanced biochemistry. Slow, huh? Slow is the best we can do. Okay, we'll do that. I think that'll be a little bit more helpful. We'll grab an extra one here just for good measure. Advanced biochemistry. Yeah, maybe we'll grab just that one over there and over there also. We've got, I've, I've hired a ton of people over here. Uh, this is evening that we're after, right? There we go. Okay, what's going on here? We've done everything. Oh, and we've uncovered the, the flashing one. So IV antibiotics, there we go. Good stuff. I, it feels like if I'm treating all of them at the same time, it feels like I've got much more control over what they actually end up doing. Okay, nasal cavity, you've been checked. Um, so let's do this urgent echo and fast and stuff like that. We can actually do straight in TC, right? Let's do a fast and we'll do that and see where we go, go with art monitoring. Just do all of that and see if we can figure out what's going on. Um, this one should be done, right? No problems whatsoever. You can uh, just kind of do your thing. Um, over here, you're okay. No flashing. You're okay. You're going to be fine. That's what are you saying? Oh, this is our H5, um, our H5 uh, in one guy. Well, let's throw in some more stuff over here that we're busy treating you with. Those are actually running. That's not a problem at all. I don't think we need any other testing. I think we're going to be fine. We've got more people coming into trauma care. Patient's collapsing. So let's make sure to do the, some rehydration going on. Uh, what else do we need? Let's uh, start going through some of the some of these things over here. Not too sure what else you have. Temperature, temperature. Let's make sure to do temperature. There we go. You should be okay. Bye bye. Hmm. What do you need? Well, we'll give you some of this stuff and try and get you sorted out. Regular hospitalization only. Okay, you should be okay. You should really be, um, be healing up now. So we're okay. You can just kind of rest. Ooh, Ari, uh, a patient has been waiting too long to buy medicine. Check the pharmacy. Insomnia. Antidepressants. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, so we need to hire some staff over here. That's the case. So let's uh, pop in here and see. Is the zoning done um, for the new TCs? Um, the whole thing is TC, so I don't think we need it, but I'll, I'll double, double check it now. So let's um, hire a couple more staff members over here. We'll do that one. We'll do this one. We'll do another evening one. There we go. That should be at least slightly more helpful. Now let's quickly pop over here. Yeah, the whole thing is zoned for TC. There we go. Moving people around. Actually, it's uh, it's not too bad to actually do this. Um, lots of hidden symptoms. Let's start um, treating Dr. House style, and then we'll see about maybe something like temperature manage, uh, temperature checking, and maybe CRP, and see if we can figure out if there's anything else in there. Uh, CBC testing. Okay, slowly sorting things out. Stuff's not flashing anymore. You're okay. A patient is uh, control patient can be can be uh, um, um, can go home. Let's release the patient. Thank you very much. Nice, 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 nice. 
Uh, okay, urgent echo was done over here. Did we actually find any other symptoms? This is really problematic. We're not mm, finding a lot. Let's see what else we can do. Now I think we should start doing um, these things. Oh, hydrate, thank you so much. Let's do everything we can. Lots of tests. And another two of them, thank you. A bit of rabies over here, we'll start to deal with that a little bit. I think that's going to be just fine. Uh, ooh, this is the guy with the plague, right? And we are hospitalized, so that's okay. There's still some flashing stuff going on. We'll do that. So I'm, I'm really worried about the flashing stuff. Uh, but we are getting these done, the, the serologic testing and the microbial cultivation. So hopefully we'll figure out that that's, I think, bacteria thing, the bacteria thing. Uh, hospitalization is over. This is the, the, the lady with the bubonic plague. Uh, Scotty, thank you so much for dropping by. Have a good one. See you again next time. Uh, okay, so she's okay. She's treated, right? Everything is fine. The bacteri, bacteriemia, bacteriemia, something like that. Um, okay, well, please go home. Look at our money. Half a million, eh? Well, obviously, we're not spending money building stuff, but we are making a fair bit of money. Wanted to have a quick look at, okay, this guy should be fine. No, no problems over here. We're going to just leave you going on. I wanted to check, what are we actually making? Are we, are, are we losing money? We go to yesterday. No, I mean, but there was a lot of other stuff in there. Yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye and see how it actually goes. Um, I think we've, all of this stuff is currently happening. Lab procedure uncovered a symptom, but it's okay. I think we're fine. We don't have, how many how much spaces do we have? Ooh, not a lot, really. Over here, how many spaces do we have over here? This guy's got bird flu. Tons of spaces available. That's the uh, some plague, plague stuff going on over there. HPS over here, and that, that thing that I never thought needed to be in here in the first place. Drama Center has got a couple of people over there. Not too bad. This should all be okay. We still haven't figured that out yet, but there's still a few things that uh, that we can actually wait on to just see what's going on there. Temperature measurement. Ooh, bubonic plague. You are isolated, right? Uh, that's okay. Everything is actually happening. Okay, thank you for those hydrates. I have, a, I have a lovely cup of tea with me over here. This guy should be just fine. We don't need to do anything else with him. Just wait it out now. Blood draw, did we figure out anything else? Um, yeah, I think we're okay. We can just kind of let this one, wait this one out. Okay, lab, lab procedure figured out what exactly. Why paste this this one? But I believe that is under under suppression already. So it should be okay. Oh, there we go. That's the one. That is the one. I knew it was gonna be this one. I should I should have just given them out antibiotics um, if I could. Yep, you should be done. Everything is suppressed now, so you should be fine. Just fine. Okay, have we figured out what's wrong with you yet? Uh, but I don't think there needs to be anything else. Nothing here seems to be flashing. So, just keep going. Hmm, what is this? Fox is a mite-borne infectious disease caused by something that is spread by mites, usually living um, on house mice. Um, nothing too serious or flashing over here, but what we can do is we can just start throwing um, all of the various treatment pieces your way. I think that thing is going to require you to be hospitalized. Special, uh, special antibiotic. Uh, what do we need over here? We still haven't figured it out. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that's um, currently underway, so we'll, uh, we'll wait it out. Waiting for free free examination room? What do you mean? 
What are you waiting for? A pre-examination room. We don't have a diagnostics unit over here, right? So how are you? Where are you? You are in an examination room. All you need is a doctor. Ooh, what's this? Sudden breathing difficulties known also for short uh, shortness of breath. That sounds really dangerous. That sounds really dangerous. Could you guys see what's going on over there? <laughs> I think, I think we need to, um, I think we need to isolate this guy. Got some, that's bad, that's bad over here. I think we need to go straight into isolation hospitalization. What do you guys think? Chat, what do we think? Doc, what do we think? Fraser Anderson is collapsing. He's just arrived. He's at the reception. Um, he hasn't even had his interview yet. And we immediately have some problems over here. And we've got a 25% chance of COVID-19. Also have malaria as an option or West Nile fever. Shall we err on the side of caution and go straight into isolation hospitalization? What do you think? Find the final diagnosis first. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. Physical exam, chest. Oh, but no, no, no. But he's uh, he's actually he's, he's collapsing, right? So we need to at least get him into TC. He doesn't want to go into TC. Okay, let's um move him. We can't select a department. We'll have to um isolation hospitalization him. If we go regular hospitalization, he may very well, um, well, only one of them is highly contagious. So we can't actually do this. He will automatically go to DC. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Where, how do we treat this? Oxygen therapy. So let's, uh, let's start getting that going on. What's going on over here? I need to go back to that one. Uh, as soon as we can. I, I'm still slowly going through this stuff. Um, so we'll just keep going on that. Still not figuring out anything. Keep going. Patient needs to be hospitalized. Yeah, I thought, thought as much. Regular hospitalization it is then. Is this our COVID guy? Yeah, so here he comes. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. Anything we figured out here? Still nothing. There's still a few things that's uh, currently underway. Anything? Have we found anything? Let's check temperature. Let's do some other bits and pieces. Everything we can. We're throwing the book at this guy. Should survive at least for the time being. Um, blood draw. We can also start providing some of these other things. Um, now, long wait over here. Frank Robinson, where are you? You're hospitalized waiting for free examination room, but you're in TC. So you're in an examination room, I believe. So all we need to do is let's just check that we have enough doctors over here. Let's quickly um, hire another set of doctors for TC over here. Uh, you're okay, even though you're slow, you're still okay. And then a nighttime doctor. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna go with you. Uh, we ooh, we've got the room for more doctors, so let's grab some more. There you go, and one more. Here we go. So we've got tons more doctors now. Let's uh, get a couple more nurses in place. Grab you and my time doctor. I um, mean, nighttime nurse. There we go. Okay, hopefully that'll that'll help things out a little bit. What's going on with our COVID guy? Oh, it is in fact COVID. There we go. Figured out COVID. What actually um, uh, threw this symptom our way? High fever. What, what was the one? How did we? Is it the tremor? The physical physical examination unlocked tremor. So shall we stop doing all of that and we'll get? Um, is it? What do we do? Complex antivirals. Um, so I think we immediately, immediately um, diagnose it. So we've got COVID-19 going on. We're going over to that. We're going into isolation hospitalization and we'll throw in 
all of the various treatments that we can.